Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy CB and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than before. I just thought I would bless y'all with some advice, some of y'all upcoming freshmen. I know the school year is about to start, so I thought I would just give my piece as an upcoming senior. I thought I would help y'all out a little bit, so get right into the video. My first piece of advice, and this might be the most important thing, do not take an 8 a.m. class. I'm telling you, it's bad for business. I'm telling you, do not take an 8 a.m. class. You might think it's like high school to where like you can get up early, you have your parents wake you up early, get up out of your bed, go to class. I'm telling you, it's so different in college. You might have partied the night before, you might have been up studying the night before, you might have gone to sleep at 12 the night before, but getting up for the 8 a.m. is going to be the hardest thing that you ever do. Now, I'm blessed to say that I had never taken the 8 a.m. before. I had a roommate who took an 8 a.m. every single day for two semesters straight. When I tell you, I was even struggling through that, can't even imagine what he was going through. I'm telling y'all now, do not take an 8 a.m. Getting up and having to most likely walk to your class also makes it worse. You know, during the winter, it can get hella cold. You don't want to walk in the cold. Sometimes it might be dark when you walk the class too so i'm kind of at the point where i'm a senior i can have a lot of leeway when making my schedule so i personally do not get into a class that starts before 11 a.m that's just me though that's just me but you can also you know take afternoon classes and stuff like that i usually have all my classes in the middle of the day and then i'm done so i'll just say that 8 a.m is not going to be as easy as you think it is so i would recommend not taking it unless you completely have to so get on to the next one all right for my next tip i would say escape your comfort zone as much as possible college is the time where you're going to have the opportunity to meet the most people make the most relationships and create like those lifelong friendships that most people have because sometimes high school is not great for everybody so people don't really have those friendships so college is really the time where you get to really find your people and college is a space where there are so many people that you're bound to have similarities with somebody and you're bound to find somebody that might be just like you. I think it's your time to just get out of your comfort zone completely, try new things, go to events, get yourself involved with clubs, be involved on campus. That's another thing. I can touch on that later, but I would try and be involved as many things that you're comfortable with, but also try and push yourself to get out of that little bubble that you're used to because this is where you're going to grow into the person that you're going to be after college. You know, if you're shy, try and push yourself to talk to people, go to events and stuff because those are going to benefit you later on. You're going to make friends. You might find a, like a partner. You might also get a networking opportunity that you wouldn't have if you had never gone to some events so i would say get out of your comfort zone as much as possible obviously don't just throw yourself in uncomfortable situations 99 percent of the time if you have like a bad gut feeling about something but as much as you can get out of your comfort zone and try new things. Touched on this a little bit in the last point, but be open to being involved on campus. Now, being involved on campus can mean many things, whether it's joining a club, joining like a group for a specific sport or for a specific hobby, dance teams, there's intramural basketball, intramural sports, clubs for literally anything on most campuses. I go to a larger school, so we have a lot more you know, variety when it comes to clubs and organizations, but there's usually a club for something that you're interested in. So I would say try to be as involved as you can be. Being involved on campus can lead to like leadership positions in those organizations would look good on resumes, jobs, good on resumes for internships. Leadership positions always look good and those are always lead to networking opportunities, which is gonna be one of the main topics of this video because networking in college is so important and I feel like people don't really realize it until the later years. Cause I didn't really realize networking was that big and that helpful until my junior, senior year. So if I can help y'all, you know, lock in on that your freshman year, sophomore year, you're gonna be set for the rest of your college experience. You know what I'm saying? Being involved in those campus organizations, whether it's sports or whether it's, you know, an academic kind of organization, those can help you make friends, you might find a partner, it's also going to help you network, you're going to meet more people, feel more comfortable on campus if you be like, you're walking and I'm like, oh, I play soccer with that guy, or oh, that person's in my club, you have someone to talk to, it adds a level of comfortability that you probably didn't have already. So I would say that's another good point, just try and be involved as much as you can. Obviously, you don't want to flood your schedule with so much stuff that you can't commit to, but try and be involved, it looks good on resumes, good for networking, it's good for relationships. All right, so for the next point, it is very basic and it's very, it's gonna sound hella like I'm a square, but go to class. No lie, just go to class. You are literally paying for the classes. Like it's coming out of your pockets, your parents' pockets. If you got a scholarship, good on you. You're still technically paying to go to school. I would say just go to class. You're there to learn anyways. You wanna have a career after college that involves your major, your minor, whatever. Go to class, I promise it'll help out. Just go to class, it's that simple. Learn, talk to your professor, network, make friends. Like you're paying for the classes, you might as well Go. And if you're taking classes of stuff that you actually like and actually enjoy, then learning can actually be fun. I didn't learn that too later in my sophomore year because I was taking classes I wasn't interested in, but find what you like and classes in college are going to be so much better than high school classes and finding stuff that you like to do and finding something that you want to do in the future. My next piece of advice is to try to get along with your roommates. Try to get along with your roommates as best as you can and don't let any petty arguments.
arguments kind of break up y'all's relationship. I've heard so many stories about people getting into arguments with their roommates that could have been solved and then it kind of messes up and then you're in a living situation where you're either not comfortable in, it's very awkward, or you just don't even speak to the person that you're literally sleeping five feet away from. I've had plenty of arguments with my roommates or my, uh, you know, sweet mates in the past, but never let those kind of become that serious to the point where we don't talk to each other. I've lived with the same idiots for now four years and those are my guys, but like we've never let any argument get to a point where we don't talk to each other. And it's made college so much easier. It's made college so much better for me, especially just because now I have a group of people that know me, know what I like, know what I don't like, and they respect that. You know, have building those good relationships, it's easiest to build it with someone that you're around 12 hours a day because in college most dorm rooms aren't that big so you and your roommate are going to be close close quarters probably going to have to communicate about something whether it's laundry whether it's about when you shower whether it's about how you decorate the room so you're gonna have to communicate so i would say be mature use the best communication skills you have and try your best to get along with your roommates i know some people just aren't compatible that kind of way and if you and your roommate don't get along that's fine i'm just saying make it the best effort that you can to get along with that person because it's going to make your college experience so much better if you can come to that person, if you can just go to your room and that person understands you, that person respects you, and you have a good cordial relationship with that person. My next piece of advice is very also very simple, just to try and be as active as you can. I personally, I like going to the gym. I like playing basketball. I like playing soccer. My kind of form of getting active is sports and weightlifting. But I know other people have different things, whether it's dance, whether it's running, yoga, Pilates, whatever you like, just do it because I know freshman year it can get very overwhelming with the amount of stuff the amount of social events the amount of like homework and just getting used to that new college experience so I would just say make it a point in your day or sometimes in your week to still get active just try and be active because it's also good for your mental and good for your physical health just to be active kind of escape all like the the pressures the noises of being on campus dealing with a lot of people so I would just say be active all right my next tip for y'all is to not worry so much about what you're wearing and kind of to dress comfortable because you'll learn two weeks into college that people do not care what you wear. Like people do not care as much as you think. There are definitely some people that I know that put on great fits every single day and they're very memorable. But I don't think anyone's gonna treat you any differently if you wear a black shirt three days in a row or you wear black three times in one week. I hope not because I've done that more times than I can count. As a freshman, it might take some time to realize, but people care so much about themselves that they do not care about you in that kind of sense. Like they're so worried about what they're wearing, what homework they have, you know, what they have to do today. They're not gonna look two times at you for wearing a sweatshirt and sweatpants. People are more mature in that aspect, I would say. I'll get into that later on, but it's just, nobody really cares what you wear. Don't be afraid to just put on a pair of sweatpants and some Crocs and a shirt just to go to class. Cause at the end of the day, you're going there to learn. You'll have a fit for a party. You'll have a fit for an event. Like, don't worry about what you're wearing in class unless like you want to be like a fashion kind of influencer fashion person that's your thing that's your kind of your interest go for it but i'm telling like to the people that maybe don't have all like the flashy clothes or don't have a sense of style yet don't be afraid to just walk out in whatever you like wearing all right, as we're closing this video these are going to be the three three biggest pieces of advice for upcoming freshmen so what i was talking about before is to network networking is so important and can help you in so many ways that i didn't realize like i said my freshman and sophomore year but networking is so important whether it's joining those clubs, talking to that person uh, when they're, you know, having like an organization event or whether it's talking to your professor, literally making friends out around on campus so people know you and you know other people. That is so important and so can be so essential to your future success. Like I got a trip to, I got to go on a trip to San Francisco for a week earlier this summer and I wouldn't have known about that if I didn't talk to my professors, if I didn't talk to, you know, students that went on that trip last year, students in my classes, I wouldn't know about any of that. I know some students that are right now they're in Paris for the Olympics and they wouldn't know about that if they didn't network if they didn't talk to their professor so I'm not saying you're gonna go to Paris but networking can lead you to future opportunities like if I didn't network I probably wouldn't have the internships that I have right now if I didn't network I probably wouldn't have the access to different places on campus or different kind of tools if I need for filming I wouldn't have the access to that if I didn't network networking is so important and can be so important to your future success that I think you should just you don't have to zone in on it and not do anything else but just keep it in the back of your head like oh maybe I should go talk to that person or if you're shy I know LinkedIn is a great start I was a LinkedIn demon for like three weeks I have so many connections and those connections while you might not talk to that person every single day if you see that person got an internship you can message them on LinkedIn and be like hey how'd you get that boom and now y'all are having a conversation networking with your professors is insanely important talking with your professors they can write you recommendation letters they can tap you in with internships they can tap you in with potential jobs and careers after school they can help you get into grad school med school so just kind of talking to people and networking Working. It's hard for someone that's shy, trust me, I know, but it's kind of like, once again, pushing yourself out of your comfort zone to go to those events or talk to those people. It's going to help you a lot more than you think in the long run. 
this might be a little bit of a hot take, but for my next piece of advice, I would say just kind of be aware of what you do and who you are around and kind of stuff like that because college is not that much different than high school, in my opinion. There are people are still very immature at times. It's very clicky at times at certain schools, especially. And I know a lot of people can feel left out. I would say that it's not much different than high school because people are nosy, people are immature, people talk, rumors spread very fast. So I would just say like, watch what you do, kind of just be aware of what you do and kind of just be a nice person, be a genuine person because rumors spread very fast. You can build a reputation very fast in college and it could be like campus wide and so nobody wants to have a bad reputation and it can spawn instantly even off of like a lie but just know that like people are aware of what you're doing and most likely people will talk be talking about you and you want them to be talking about you in a positive manner so watch what you do people will be talking about you so you know i would just say think about that a little bit when you're like doing certain stuff or going certain places nobody wants to have a bad reputation and like i said people are mature but the difference in maturity that you think that you would get from high school to college is a little bit i would say inflated it's not that much different you know not to go back on that point but also i feel like focusing on getting to a point where you don't care what people say about you is also very essential like obviously you want to have a good reputation and you want people to like you all this stuff etc you want people to respect you have respect for you but people are going to talk and you know someone that might not like you might say something negative about you and people might talk about that but really it doesn't affect you unless they're like spitting blatant lies against you so i try to tell people not to care so much about what people think and i know it's hard um but getting over that hump of just kind of being just not really caring about what people say about you definitely helps out a lot but obviously like i said you obviously don't want to be doing anything that you probably shouldn't be doing or you know do anybody bad probably shouldn't be messy college is not love island or a reality tv show it might seem that way but it's not so you know people will hear what you do people will talk obviously you don't want to get a reputation but even if you get one if you show that you're a genuine person probably show that that's probably a lie or if you just show through your actions that that's not you then you're going to be just fine my last tip for y'all which is the most important thing this i think is the most important important piece of advice that I could give any freshman going into college. And that is the fact that FOMO is not that big of a deal. You shouldn't be worried so much about FOMO. This might be my opinion on it. It might be different than everybody else's, but don't let FOMO put you in a situation where you feel uncomfortable. Don't let FOMO put you in a place where you didn't want to be or you had a bad gut feeling about because I promise you that gut feeling was probably right. So I've definitely had FOMO impact my decisions early on in my college experience where I didn't want to miss a party or I didn't want to miss a certain event. And maybe I was kind of not feeling it and I had a bad gut feeling and I went anyways. It really didn't turn out that great. So I'm here to tell you that like, don't let FOMO run your life because it's college there will probably always be another party there will always be another event whatever you're thinking about doing there will probably always be another opportunity for that now don't just not go to anything because with my earlier points about getting out of your comfort zone and networking and meeting new people don't just like not do anything like if you like sitting in your room and you're just cool with being by yourself that's great but i would say try and get out of your comfort zone at least once but to the people that are more you know interested in the fomo aspect and kind of feel the fomo a lot i would say don't let it run your life college is only four years for most people so so there's not always like another party like like i said there's always going to be another party there's always going to be another event but college is only four years for most people so there's obviously only so many of those certain events that you're going to be able to go to i know those statements kind of like clashed a little bit but i feel like you can understand what i'm saying but just don't let fomo run your life like if you have a bad feeling about something don't go if your friends are somewhere and you're not there for a specific reason like if you're studying or if you're at another event or if you're doing something else that's important don't feel fomo and don't feel bad that you didn't go to that definitely try to go to as much stuff as you can meet as many people as you can and you know have fun it's college the whole point of college is to study and do all that but really like you're gonna have a lot of fun in college People say college is the most fun you'll ever have. I really didn't believe it until I actually got to college. And then I felt it. First week, I felt it. I knew it was better than high school immediately. Don't let FOMO run your life, but also just have fun. Like, I hope that made sense. It probably didn't, but like I did my best to kind of explain it in my way. Just like, don't let FOMO run your life. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be the end of the video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Those are my advice for you know upcoming freshmen. Hope that y'all liked the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe button is going to be right there, or it's right on my channel. On the road to 5,000 subscribers. I'm so thankful for everybody that subscribed. Thankful to everybody that's watched any video of mine, liked any video of mine, you know what I'm saying? Very thankful for y'all. But let me know if you want more videos like this where I talk about, you know, college, you know, give advice to upcoming freshmen or literally any class. Let me know if y'all want my opinion on other college stuff. If you want me to talk about more college stuff, I'm down to do that. I love sitting in front of the camera and talking to y'all. Let me know down in the comments if you want any more videos like this and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.